You're listening to Cross Rhythms Plymouth 96.3 FM. And uh, those of you who are regular listeners uh, to Cross Rhythms and uh, I suppose just regularly in the life of Plymouth and this area from a kind of uh, faith standpoint, you'll know that Creation Fest is coming close. It's that time of the year when Creation Fest is getting closer. And uh, I got the uh, pleasure and privilege of being joined on the line uh, by Niall, who's involved with the team at Creation Fest. Uh, Hi, Niall. Hi Dave, thanks so much for having me on. Ah, it's great to have you. Great to have you joining us, and great to be talking about Creation Fest again. We uh, we discuss it every year. It's it's exciting every year. There's always uh, new things going, uh, different things happening as well, uh, year on year. Kind of the ways it develops and changes and tweaks. Um, but there's always kind of consistent things for it as well. So I guess Niall, for those, and there's probably not many, but for those who don't know what Creation Fest is, who've never heard of it before, give us an overview as to what Creation Fest is and who it's for. Yeah, well, Creation Fest, I mean, I, I think this year is the 24th year that they've been going, which is wow. quite something. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a it's a Christian festival um, that takes place in, in, in Wade Bridge in Cornwall. And it's, um, I think, uh, incredibly unique in lots of ways um, uh, when you compare it with, with, with other Christian festivals, all of which we love, by the way. But it's, uh, it's, um, we're quite unique in the sense that we do have, you know, so there's, there's um, we have camping tickets that you, you pay for, but we also, we've made it from day one at Creation Fest, we've made it um, this uh, it kind of, uh, so it's always had a, like a missional heart to it. So, uh, it's kind of like the yeah the heartbeat of it is is mission really so so uh day tickets have always been free um for particularly you know in terms of reaching locals in the area or for churches who you know particularly more local to the to the southwest kind those kind of churches that they can bring people along and not have to worry about the cost um yeah so it's it, it's uh it also poses a challenge when you're trying to run a festival and pay for <laughs> running the festival. But um, it, what I love is that it's it's so the mission is so at the heart of it that um, it's uh, yeah that kind of it's that it's a sacrifice worth paying because because you know you get I mean over the last five years we've had more than a thousand people give their lives to Jesus at the festival, which is kind of think oh it's well worth it then, isn't it? You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, and, but not only that, we have we always have a stellar lineup of of, of uh, music and worship leaders and and communicators. You know, some of the just the most amazing people who who come to the festival as contributors every year. Um, and this year will be be no exception to that. So yeah, it's a it's a it's always an amazing time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, as you say, you know, it's always a, a bit that we pick up because it is a real key part of it. The fact that it is free to attend if you're a day visitor if you're if you're camping obviously there's a there's a fee i mean the fee for camping is minimal really i mean it's, you're not going to find camping at that time in cornwall for much cheaper anywhere else to be totally honest but no, true, true. But that whole but free I thing, think one of, sorry no i was just gonna say that whole free aspect is um is vital as you say and it is for those people if you're listening to this and you know you're not a christian you wouldn't describe yourself as a christian or you've got friends who are as niall saying it's designed so that there's not that barrier to you. You might be thinking, look, I'm not a Christian, so I don't think I'd pay to go to a Christian festival, but I'm curious, I'd be interested. I'm up for going, I'm up for finding out more, I'm up for kind of, you know, hearing what people have to say, listening to some great music, all of that kind of stuff. And therefore, for you, there's no charge. Just rock up, get there, enjoy it, take from it what you will and see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it really is set up that way so that, that you know, for the, the, we have we have a lot of stuff for you know if you're already you've been walking walking with god for a long time and you know and uh uh you want to go deeper you know get some meaty kind of um stuff uh whether that's you know in the worship or in um you know seminars and things like that there's there's that opportunity for yeah. those people but there's also you know it's 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 easy to dip like you say dip your toe in see what's this all about um there's you know sort of uh, slightly less intense stuff going on as well, you know, and and, and fun stuff. Uh, we've got skate park, we've got um, you know outdoor stage with with, with with lots of stuff going on there. So it is, there's there's lots going on, um, and uh, and even within within all of that, if you just need to sit down and have a, have a cup of coffee and take it all in, 
you've got the cafe and you've got you know you've got spaces to go it's um it's a big site so it's it's uh yeah it's a real mix that's what i love about it it's just this sort of yeah this this mix where where pretty much anybody i think uh can can come and, and engage with it yeah yeah totally totally and that's always been uh the ethos and as you say there's there's really really high quality bands and speakers as you say you know the type of people for whom you'd be paying a lot of money to go and see if that if the bands were doing their own tours you'd be paying quite a lot of money so just purely from that standpoint as well of seeing top quality artists do their thing you know it's you know you said earlier it's unique in terms of a christian festival it's unique in terms of festivals i, I can't think of any other free festivals like creation fest oh, yeah. christian or otherwise it's it's remarkable well we're gonna stop for some music uh pick up the conversation uh, more with niall after this talk specifically about 2024 who are some of the people that we can look forward to seeing and hearing at the event and uh you know how do you get your tickets all that kind of stuff we'll talk more with niall after this you're listening to crossroads plymouth talking all about creation fest uh, 2024 with niall who's part of the team Uh, at creation fest uh for this year and we've been discussing kind of what creation fest is in general and uh yeah just really want to emphasize that point again it there really is something for everyone you might be listening to this thinking okay it's a christian festival that's not for me i'm I'm not a christian but totally like you know i know a lot of people in this day and age cost of living crisis chaos going on in the world people have questions about life what's it all about you might be listening to this thinking yeah, I, that's why I listen to questions. I've got questions about life. I love exploring those philosophical and faith-based questions and things like that. Creation Fest is an absolutely ideal place to kind of further that, I would say, 100%, having been there myself. So, you know, free to attend on the day and uh, we're going to give you more information about what you can expect from this year now. So Creation Fest 2024 then, um, Niall, who are kind of some of the key bands you've got, some of the key speakers, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, well, do you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb, Dave, and say this might be the best lineup we've ever had. Um, I'd I just agree. Having looked I'm, at it, I'm slightly it. bowled over by it actually. Every because since since I started working at Creation Invest, every week it seems like we've got another new unbelievable artist or unbelievable contributor being added to the uh, to the lineup. But um, yeah, so in terms of music, we've got um, amazing uh, Pat Barrett for those those who who know him, um, Amanda Cook. Ben Cantillon, Josh Garrels. Uh, for for those who know Josh Garrels, this is his, I, I believe, his UK debut, mm-hmm. uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he was meant to um, play last year and couldn't because of an injury, so it's pretty cool, cool that he's coming back. Philip Hanna, who is a Creation Fest absolute like classic uh, artist, so it's great to have her back. We've got our Atlantic Roots, uh, you know, who are Cornwall's own. Uh, the Moses Brothers, also Cornwall's own. And uh, oh, and you know what? We've got Plymouth Zone, Josie. Yes, hooray! Man, legend. What, he used what, to present what, a show what? here. You probably didn't know that, but he. Oh, used I didn't to know that. Yeah. The well, there you go. Cross Rhythm Zone, Josie. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He's a, he's a, what a legend. Um, uh, I mean, just on that point, you know, as you say, an amazing artist lineup. Um, you know, regular Cross Rhythm's listeners, you'll have heard of lots of those artists. We play a lot of those. On the station, we had yeah. our Atlantic Roots for our showcase in Plymouth recently. Yes, um, yeah. you'll be able to to see them again. But uh, Josh Garrels, Amanda Cook, particularly, um, two of some of the biggest artists in Christian music mm. the world over. Um, yeah. Josh Garrels, personally, one of my very favourite artists. Full stop. Yeah. So the fact he's coming to his first gig, long overdue here in the UK, and you could potentially attend it for free. I mean that's that's just silly. So make sure you go and see him because he's amazing. And those artists, yeah. obviously, from top to bottom, what a lineup! It's ridiculous. Yeah, and we've got um, uh, Joe Hardy leading worship with us throughout the week as well, who's uh, from Yeovil. But he, yeah, Joe Joe's another Creation Fest legend as well. And then he's yeah, just yeah, so so great um, leading those times of worship in the in the main on the main stage as well. So. Yeah, and then in terms of, but it's not only that's the beautiful thing. It's not only the the music. Um, you know, we've just got world class communicators as well. You know, some of the people who are just the most incredibly gifted um, yeah, speakers and communicators. We've got uh, Amy Or Ewing. We've got uh, Andrew Ollerton from Bible Society. We've got um, Galvin Carver from um, the uh, from uh, Evangelical Alliance. We've got Joel Turner, and we've got Sarah Yardley. 
Yes. Punk fest. Who Cre- Creation Fest? Uh, you know, uh, people who go every year will know Sarah really well. She 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 leads our team here, and it is her last year leading the team. So you definitely don't want to miss that. Mm. Uh, Simon Gilbo as well, um, and rumor has it that Simon's actually going to be recording. He 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 has this brilliant podcast called um, Inspired. And rumor has it that he's going to be recording a couple of episodes of that at the festival as well, as well as speaking at the festival. Uh, yeah, just got, got so many. That's the, that's the thing. It's like the more you think of it, the more you realize, wow, this is just an amazing lineup. So it is awesome. Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Exciting. And um, so we've talked about the fact you can you can turn up on the day for free. There there is a charge for camping. How do people go about uh, booking for camping and also? Um, day tickets do you just turn up do you want people to book ahead if so how do they do that yeah well the easiest way for all of it is to go into creationfest.org.uk um and whether it's you're booking camping for the whole festival um which does have a cost um but i can announce a uh, very exclusive to you right now we're doing a little collaboration with um with a Ch- uh, big church festival um for a 25 pound off your Camping, camping ticket, no matter if it's for an adult or for a child's ticket, um, for just I think it's just for the next ten days or so, um, and it's using a big church friends all one word discount code when you when you book your um, your camping. So it's a bit of a, a little bit of a, a discount, a little bit of an exclusive there for you. Um, but alternatively, you go, uh, you say, well, I'm, I live nearby. I don't, you know, and and you know, like you say, cost of living and all of that stuff. Just I, can I come for free? You absolutely can. Um, the easiest way is if you is if you book it. You can book your free day pass um, on creationfest.org.uk. And by the way, if you do that, it will automatically give you four free day passes to cut to enter the festival throughout um, the whole thing, so that you don't have to keep doing it for every day. Um, and um, yeah, and it's so it's it's pretty straightforward. The, the, the basic, the best place to go is creationfest.org.uk, and that that kind of points you to where where you might need to go. And yeah, sort all that out. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so creationfest.org.uk uh, is the website to go. There's loads of information about the artists and the speakers as well that uh, that Niles mentioned. Um, and and as you said, I mean, I think it's important to say, really, you know, obviously you can attend for free, but if you have been for a number of years if you want to support the festival there are ways you can make a donation as well because as Niles alluded to uh putting it on for free does put a kind of uh pressure on actually sustaining the thing um yeah, so you know if you want to attend for free totally go for that there's no pressure to donate it's not that kind of festival at all i've been many years it's times i've gone for free and it's totally fine there's no pressure however if you'd like to uh you know they'd be really blessed by you donating to their cause and to the festival yeah. uh, and you're and there getting is an option there's an option that. Uh, there's an option when you if you're booking free day tickets there's an option where you can add a donation if you know you might you might not be able to to afford all the camping but you might be able to afford a tenner or something to go you know to go in for your for your ticket um and uh so there's that option there as well but yeah one thing to remember is uh, you know if you're if you're wanting to go and camp um when you know when you're booking your your camping ticket that is you try and see it as not only is it paying for your camping and the facilities, it's also like investing in the mission of, of Creation Fest, which allows it to be free for those who who are maybe uh, exploring faith or just right at that starting point. Um, and this gives them an opportunity, you know, to be able to to do that. And so you're helping to invest in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Niall, thank you so much uh, for your time. Uh, hopefully catch you down at the festival itself. Uh, w- one thing that we do need to say, which is very important, is when is it? <laughs> we haven't actually come. Uh, it's so easy to get lost in all the... Exactly. Like, when, details, when it's and, happening... And it's a very key one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, so, yeah, Creation Fest is the 1st to the 4th of August, and it's at the Royal Cornwall Event Centre. It used to be called the Royal Cornwall Showground, but it's the Royal Cornwall Event uh, Centre in Wadebridge in Cornwall. Perfect, perfect. Well, Niall, thank you so much. Wish you all the best, and uh, hope to see you there. Real, thanks for having me.